it's a Monday. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Um, so today, or this morning, we'll be working on this electric pan or electric fire. I don't know. People call it different names. But yeah, it's basically a pan <laughs> which you can, which you connect it directly to your electrical outlet. So this one doesn't switch on. Uh, we're not sure exactly why. Um, so it has two pieces to it. We have this section, which is the plug, which plugs into the into the pan, and you can control the temperature um, on this side. Um, so the cover looks like this, where you have zero to five. So it's a thermostat as well. So basically, what a thermostat does it it opens and closes the circuit. It's like <coughs> It's like an automatic switch but works on temperature but I'll show you the inside of it exactly how it works with its different plates expanding um, to, into different shapes so it's open when it's this way and closes again with heat um, so yeah so let's take a look at it I've already taken out the screws to save our time um, but so on the pan itself we have the element. This is the heater element. Sadly, with this one, if we find out that the heater element is gone, <laughs> the whole pan is gone. You cannot replace it because it's welded onto the pan itself. And as you can find this, um, the pan by itself. But I doubt. Probably it's better that you buy a whole new unit. Switch up. Then we have this section here unscrewed it already um, it needs hex, a hex screwdriver um, which I got one there that's why I've always said in the beginning in my introduction I always advise that you get a set of your know, screw, screwdrivers different tips as well as uh, the nut drivers um, makes life a little bit easier when you have a set like this um, because you never know with home appliances what kind of screws they used um, for that device. All right, let's go to this guy here quickly. Here's what I was talking about. Here's the plate that changes shape depending on the temperature. If you can hear the clicking sound. So when it warms up to a certain temperature, it clicks open and closes. But it depends how much you push it using your your scroll knob at the back so if you push it very hard um, it will only close at a very high temperature if you put it very low it will only close at a very low temperature <laughs> well I'll explain it clearly the next time maybe but maybe a little bit later I'll also dwell a bit into it so what happens is that your electricity comes through um, get my stuff here. your electricity comes through from the plug so on the live section, it comes through onto the brown wire, from the brown wire onto the switch itself, from the switch onto the positive. We switch on and off on the live. Sorry, not positive. This is not DC. On the live line. So that's where we get our power. And then the neutral usually just goes directly to the neutral point on the pan. It doesn't matter actually um, where it sits um, but it matters in this instance because the the plug itself has to sit a particular way but on an element there's no live and neutral um, you can pull live in any point so sure we got this guy here this pin sits right here so as it's sitting in there, it's busy checking the temperature of the pan. Then the heat gets transferred straight onto this little plate that we were talking about. The one that clicks in and out. So right now we're going to troubleshoot where the problem is at. Alright, I got my multimeter. I'm going to go set it on my continuity. Okay, shop. Number 20. That 
that's the beeping sound meaning there is continuity so i'm going to take a look at my plug here we go there's the live section i'm going to go to live i'm going to go to where it comes in there is power and i'm going to go to the output which goes to the element so i can go directly to that point there now you hear a beeping sound so meaning on the live section there is no problem it runs as it as it should but let me just demonstrate something quickly to you how it switches off and on oh, there we go so as the temperature as it warms up it pushes this guy and opens the circuit and there's no more power going to the element then it switches on again so this metal changes shape and opens and closes the thermostat so that's basically the purpose of the thermostat switches the element on and off all right cool let's check our neutral line now i'm gonna go to neutral on the plug and go to neutral outlet there is no power going to the element all right let me just open this further and check if there is a problem with the neutral line but before we go to the neutral line let's check the element quickly um, you can continue on the continuity on the multimeter or you can go to the resistance you should have a certain resistance on the element all right the element is good um, let me go to the resistance quickly So with this one, there we go, there's my resistance test. So I believe this element is quite good. Alright, that's in mega ohms, that's sharp, so the element is good. So we're going to eliminate this section for now. Let me just open this further. Then I'm gonna pause it a bit. Don't go away. All right, cool. So I'm back. So here's the culprit here. Oh, sorry. This is a thermal cut off. So what does that does? It's it's like a heat switch, mm. heat fuse rather. So if something gets too hot it burns out so that electricity stops going to the element what could have happened here is that the thermostat could have failed and the pan got way too hot and when it gets way too hot to protect the pan and the user and your electrical line and stuff this thing cuts off so then it cuts the electricity going to the element all right so it only cuts off at 121 degrees it could have been because it was running for many years so it's tired or our thermostat failed and it didn't switch off so that's why it burned so now let me check if i have a spare one and if i have a spare one we'll replace it and see how it runs um but yeah we'll check the temperature as well um, i'm not with the of the props for the temperature but otherwise we'll see if the thermostat works will start gradually from a low temperature to a high one and see what happens but this is the culprit right now let me go look for the part quickly sorry sadly i don't have the replacement part so what i'm gonna do now don't do this <laughs> okay don't do it for a long time what i'm gonna do i'm gonna re remove it and i'm gonna take the line directly to the neutral i'm gonna run the pan carefully i'm gonna start on a low temperature listen to this guy if it switches on and off and if it switches on and off um properly on time then i would believe that it's working fine but do not send it to a customer or use it at home like that very important replace it even if you're sure that it's not the thermostat it was just this um the thermal cutoff Please do make sure that you replace this part.
back onto the pen again is it's basically like your television you decide to put in a wire instead of a fuse or even a microwave you put a wire instead of a fuse there's a reason why a fuse cuts um, there must have been a problem somewhere so please do remove it um, it's for your safety and the other, the other consumer safety so please I'm gonna run it direct but very important never use it without the thermal cup on because this is what will protect the circuit and your pan and yourself and whomever you're fixing this pan for right so I'm just gonna quickly cut it off join it direct um, hit it with the H ring and see if it functions all right give me a second to do that quickly all right cool yeah. So I've made my individual connection. Um, let's switch it on. There we go. It's on. It's starting to heat up. Let me just decrease the temperature. Start it at a very low temperature and see what happens. If it does pop by itself. There we go so it switched off by itself so the problem was the thermal cup off don't know exactly what happened but clearly there was a problem with it so yeah guys our problem is solved so tomorrow i'll just run to the shop and replace that thermal cup off um let me just check something It does have information on it. If you look, I cannot really zoom on it, but if you look at it, it will have information on it. This one is a uh, just check quickly, it cuts off at 121 degrees. But yeah, you can just give it to them and then they'll give you a new one. Um, it's not a very expensive part, so yeah. Good luck with that guys, um, my pen is good, I just need to get a new thermal cut off. Let me just switch it on and see, it's going to increase the temperature a little. Let's check that out. Let me see if it will switch off this time. Well, have a good one guys, enjoy your day. So that's how we fix um, an electrical pan. Um, but remember, you turn this guy back on. Good night.